welcome to the 2018 Urban Sketchers Symposium in Porto, Portugal. Thank you. Can you tell us your name and where you're from? Okay, so my name's Ian Fennelly um, and I'm from Liverpool in the UK. Okay, perfect. And can you tell me a little bit about what you typically like to teach in a workshop? Okay, so my workshop at the moment in Porto is all about trying to make sense of a really busy space mm -hmm. by using um, watercolour and brush pen and fine liners. So it's a kind of three-way process of trying to look at something which is really complex, a really kind of busy urban space, and trying to break it down into using watercolour initially to establish the big shapes, the big composition, the big structure, and then using brush pens to then tweak out things like depth, tone, and then use fine liners to kind of smash all the detail, all the brickwork, all the cobbles, all the street furniture. And it's a kind of, it's a two hour process. It's a two hour process of just looking, looking, looking and recording and just trying to make sense of a really busy, busy, busy environment. And Porto is just magical for that. It really is, it's just great. Perfect, can you show us some examples? Of course, yeah, yeah. So these are a couple of pictures that I've done already. This is the first one that I did. This is a little square up by the cathedral. Mm -hmm. um, and again, just a really busy, complicated space, lots of stuff going on, lots of shapes, lots of cobbles, passageways, buildings. So initially with this baby, I started off with a watercolour wash, just to establish all the big shapes, and then tweaked out the tone with the brush pens, and then started putting all the kind of like detail in, all the brickwork and all the cobbles, using the fine line of pens. And I've got another one here, which I can just show you. This was done on the same day, so also the first day I arrived, and this is the cathedral up, um, up on the top. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a really interesting experience because an elderly Portuguese lady came out, a bit of an art critic, and started throwing bread at me uh, while I was doing it. Oh so she God. either didn't like me being there or she didn't like the piece of art, so I wasn't quite sure. Or maybe she thought you were was. a pigeon. Maybe she thought I was, yeah, but she started throwing bread at me. So I got a little bit uncomfortable with that one. So I kind of disappeared and came back to it about an hour later when hopefully she'd gone to bed. Oh, and then the beautiful, other, beautiful the other sketch. one is um, this one here, which I did a few days later and this is up on the top looking down towards the river mm -hmm. and this is something I'm really interested in a very kind of like complicated layered effect of buildings kind of tumbling away and then you have something in the distance so focusing on all the patterns and the roof tiles and the brickwork it just makes it kind of very visually dynamic and very visually interesting for me to record and obviously trying to use all the different tools and materials to kind of put that across in terms of watercolour and brush pen. So this is the kind of thing that I really, really enjoy, you know, working on. So yeah. hence Porto yes. is, is just a feast yes. of visual imagery for me. It's Perfect. just great. And so you're not work, you're playing with the um, with perspective and just having some fun there with different um, line widths and different uh, yeah. Splashing on the watercolour and yeah, everything. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. Beautiful. I mean, play, I think, is a really good word to use yes. because ultimately it's just two hours of heaven. Yes. It's just magical. Yes. And you have to play, you have to have fun. Yes. And you make a lot of it up as you go along. Yes. You know, not in a kind of arbitrary way, but just in the sense that, you know, you have a, a structure, you have a method, but once that method and that structure starts, you then have to be flexible, you have to adapt because this thing kicks back this thing has a life of its own yes and you are just tweaking it along yeah and that's one of the things i try and teach people in my workshops as well yeah. you know you have to embrace what you are doing it's not something that you can completely control right it will have a life of its own yeah. and sometimes it wants to go off in a slightly different direction yeah and you just have to kind of facilitate that really perfect well thank you so much ian for chatting with me today i really appreciate it, it looks like a fabulous workshop beautiful sketches thank you so much thank you so much thank you